So, it's time for a How Was Your Day bombshell because I promised you all I would give you an update on not only the car, but how my day went, like I always do. Well, let's see. My day, I was trying to sleep in, that went out the window. <laughs> so what did I do? Well, that's easier to do. I went outside and, well, first I tried to get Grandpa to go outside and mow with me. I usually mow the backyard, the behind the uh, garage, the side pieces, and then take care, he takes care of everything else with the empty lot, the front boulevard, and this side of the, the boulevard, usually on the rider. And he didn't come out until I had started on the side of the house, and I had already had the backyard done by that time. So he got on the rider, did the field, a couple of passes on the boulevard, and, and a couple of passes on the front clipper part over here, but the rest of it I did by push. And I decided it was time some of the seeds that some of the plants where they were seeding got pulled up and thrown away. Some of the, um, oh, other areas I just decided to take and snip, 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 you know, and get rid of some plants and got rid of the old clothesline. But that's not the only thing that we got rid of. Um, time for the eulogy moment. Yes, I said eulogy. Uh, back in 25, 15 or 16, I can't remember which year it was, um, I was outside painting, well, I, I was going, to, I, I was outside rearranging my animals and gram, Grandma made the comment that the well was looking totally old and it needed a, a paint job. Well, that went off a little height in Grandpa's head and he goes, you know, I think I have some paint out here, Donna, why don't you paint it up? So I literally got on my tank top and went outdoors and in the heat of the hot sun, sat there and I painted that wishing well and it said USA on it by the time I got done. <laughs> and I asked Grandpa, what made you know think of the paint? And he goes, well, if women can throw on more paint, then an old well can throw on paint and look new too. That was his idea of paint, uh, war paint of makeup. But um, it did make it look new for a long time, but it had grown so old and it had gotten to the point that I had kept saying I was going to replace it. I was going to replace it. So my mom, for my birthday, had one made. And her friends are going to leave to go to Georgia. They're bringing it up Thursday. Yes, I work Thursday. But everything this week is happening while I'm working. So it's like everything's going to be rushed. I don't like being rushed. But anyway, um, they're going to bring it up. I, She told me I could keep the old well if I wanted to. But then I got to thinking if I did, then where would I have room for the new well? See my point? And the old well was getting to the point that pieces of it was falling off. It was a good well. I mean, it lasted a long time, a very long time. Um, I want to say it lasted at least 10 to 12 years. So that's a very long time for a wood wishing well. And we just, I put it out for trash. This was pickup. They picked it up today. Uh, Going to miss it. Yes, I won't lie. But it's the little ornaments are still out there. And come Thursday, there'll be a new wishing well for people to make wishes in if they want to. Um, I just prefer that they leave all the, the stuff around it. But other than that, I'm very happy to report that a new well is on its way. So thank you, old wishing well, and welcome new wishing well. Now back to how my day was. So by the time we got done mowing, I looked at the clock. It was 1 o'clock. I knew that our car appointment was at 3 o'clock. So then it was like, just keep on going, Donna. So I had not had breakfast. I came in. The heat had overcome me. I was not in the mood to really eat. I had to talk myself in to eat one of these little smashed potatoes. I don't know if you've seen it or not. They're like by Larry's Potatoes, and in it is potato, cheese, and bacon. Okay? You just stick it in the microwave. And they're about this size. Kid you not. So um, I was like, I'll fix that for lunch and breakfast. And that's what I had for lunch and breakfast. Um... I went the rest of the day with not eating a thing. I kid you not. I just had no appetite. Uh, so then what I ended up doing was um, we, we went to go take the car, and we took his car too. We thought that there might be a chance that they could look at his car because his air conditioning needs worked. Well, they couldn't look at his because they were running behind. But we'll get back to his car in a minute. Now, we've dropped my car off. We went to go run our errands, which we went to Goodwill. And Stacy at Goodwill printed, presented Grandpa with another card from the local Matt Toon Goodwill. And they gave him a gift card to go to Wendy's. So thank you for that. 
and um, he was very overcome with emotion on that and so grateful that they remembered his birthday as well and then I uh, he picked out two new shirts with his gift card because I'm, I'm insisted he spent his gift card on him nobody else so he bought two new shirts I looked for his pants size they didn't have it and then he wanted to buy get this tablecloths so when I do the home cooked meals that we would have new tablecloths to put on which I thought was sweet so we got two new tablecloths one had been recently used but it looked brand new and it, he thought it had fireworks on it for the July so I thought that's great the other one is still in the package and I thought well that looks pretty so we got that too uh, now what did I buy well I bought a puzzle for my mom a cup for grandpa for Father's Day and um, about I want to say four carousel horses and I'm not going to showcase them with you tonight but yes if you go to my Instagram you can look at the pictures of the carousel horses along with what grandpa got himself today at Goodwill so then after that little trip we went out to Aldi's he sat in the car which had no air but he decided he wasn't going to walk all the way through Aldi's so I went in I didn't get a gallon of milk which I probably should have but because I'm working the next three days but we didn't and so then I got uh, essential stuff and then came out and he's like well how about let's go over to Rule King so we go over to Rule King he has, and he, as soon as we get in there he goes I'm getting winded I think you should push me in a wheelchair he goes but don't drive like you've been driving so I push him in the wheelchair to go check on the furnace filters which they don't have 18 by 18 by 1 that's what he's needing so by this time we have to go to the service desk and of course the girl looks at me like you want us to special order that and I was like you always had it when you were out at the other side of town I don't know why you stopped carrying it now and they never had a problem with it before she kind of took an attitude with me and said well then I'm gonna have to have so-and-so call you I have no idea who the heck so-and-so was don't even ask so I'm like okay whatever as long as he gets his filters that's all that matters so then by this time we decided it's time to go check on the car they hadn't even had a chance to get it in they were running way behind there was gonna be no way they could look at grandpa's car today but they went in they did a superb job on my car at first they couldn't figure out what was causing the tire to go flat and after a further inspect inspection they said it was a screw they took the screw out and patched the tire they said it's beautiful tire don't need to worry about replacing it just yet so that's what we're going with um, they did an oil change that's wonderful but then I got to talk to him about how I brake because it seems like you know if you don't have 50,000 miles on it I shouldn't be looking at new brakes and guess what I'm looking at not only new brakes for the front but new brakes for the back so we're a little bit I'm a little bit freaking out about it and they kept telling me we don't want her driving out of town you know anybody else can drive the car but just not her so that's where we're at with that and we're gonna have to make the appointment for that after he gets his car worked on now back to grandpa's car what are we gonna do with it well on the 22nd the night before his birthday we have to drive it out to you save auto leave the set of keys in the drop box so they have all the day on the 23rd to work on it and when they get done they'll call us while we have family here to and it's not a big family event so don't anybody go out I bet they have more than 10 people no we're not doing more than 10 people in fact we're getting Cracker Barrel that's grandpa's favorite okay because he's got to have his chicken and dumplings his mashed potatoes and his fried apples with his biscuits from Cracker Barrel. He just wishes he could go in and eat, which we can't go in and eat until the 26th, which is past his birthday, and a day before Grandma's birthday. Just saying. Um, meanwhile, I want to thank Curtis Allen from Wixie because he keeps contacting me, and he and, and I think it's grand that they have went the extra mile, Wixie has. Uh, from what I understand, I have not been to their website, so I don't know this for a fact, but from what I understand, it's up on their website about the card shower as well as they want to interview me tomorrow morning in the nine o'clock hour before I go to work so if you have Wixie 100.3 on there's a good chance you're gonna hear your bombshell on there just saying um, am I anxious about it yes because I I thought well this is gonna be fun a it's radio B um, I hope that I do a good job and I don't mess it up I have a tendency to screw the best things up in life. I really do. Just saying. Um, anyway, um, hopefully it all goes well. And 
You'll just have to listen in to find out. Uh, how did the rest of my day go? Well, we went out to Arby's to go eat tonight. And after Arby's, came home. I did three loads of laundry, which was thrilling. And uh, displayed my carousel horses in the front room. So they're all in the front room. Um, then I decided it was time to, um, after the three loads of laundry, gather trash and watch a little bit of TV, which there wasn't much on TV tonight, just saying. And after doing all this yard work and doing some of the housework, it gets exhausting, y'all. In fact, I now see what my mom said, that a housewife is a job within itself because it's never done. There's always something to do, and there's always something that you have to do. Um, it's just the way it works. So before I sign off, I want to say, get those cards and letters in to Mr. Wayne McDowell at 901 South 15th Street, Mattoon, Illinois, 61938, to wish him a happy 97th birthday. Please and thank you. Um, I don't expect any big surprises for his birthday, other than you guys sending cards and letters. Like I said, we can't have a cookout like we did last year. That part's a little bit of a downer. Because he enjoys talking, he enjoys spending time with you all, um, and it's and when we get out and he talks, I try to be understanding that you know he doesn't get to talk to people all day long, he doesn't get to visit with people, and he doesn't get to share his life with people. So I think that's something that's very important to be understanding and patient when you're around someone who needs to talk and about random things, whether it's his mask that he wears that has a chihuahua on it whether it's his chihuahua dog or whether it's his time in the army or what he thinks about the virus take the time and the the time you spend is a gift within itself with that being said i may come back and sing a song for you tonight stay tuned <laughs>